Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's uh, modeling time again. We're going to be diving into Maya 2018 today. And today we're going to be doing a subscriber request video. Now, I got a question to do a, a door, a complete door, uh, but not just a door, a fairly detailed one. Okay, so let's uh, jump in and check it out. Here we go. All right, let's get started. So we're going to take a polygon cube and we're going to hit R and we're going to pull that out. And if you're uh, uncertain about proportions, uh, you can find sizes online everywhere, but I'm going to go with this and uh, that looks about right. And then we're going to put this up to height. And what you need to be aware of is you need to avoid the very hard edges. Okay. So we're going to go to, uh, let's see, we're going to take these edges right here. Let's go to edit mesh and the bevel. Now this is gonna this is not gonna be a low poly by any means. Uh, if you want a low poly, you can actually go in and do a low and a high poly and then bake it. But this one's gonna be high poly, okay? So we've got this, we're gonna copy it, we're gonna control D to duplicate, we're gonna pull it over to uh, about there for now. And uh, that looks about right. And then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate this guy. Hit E to rotate. Hold down J and flip it over. And I'm going to jump into my top view. And I'm going to hit W to push it down. For full wireframe mode, I want to make sure that that's clean. Yep. We're going to right click at a vertex. We're going to drag select. And we're going to bring that in. F to zoom in. And as you can see, we need to move the whole thing a little bit. Now it's hard to see with my, oh, there you go. My pivot point's right there. So that's going to be all right. And then we're going to right click, go to vertex right there. We're going to drag select this, bring that up to zoom in. All right. So now that we have that, we can drag select everything. Okay, and we're gonna go to uh, modify and center pivot. Actually, let's do mesh combine, modify, center pivot. Hold down X, snap it. There you go, all right? Now we can go to mesh and separate again. We can take this guy, hit Control D to duplicate it. And W to move it up and we'll do one about here that's about right and then what we'll do is we'll uh, hit control D again and we'll move it up to the top and let's go to modify and center pivot and there you go okay so we got that. Now let's focus on that panel down here. For that, we're going to take a uh, polygon cube. Hit W to move it. Bring it in. R to scale it. Push it down. And now we can adjust a few settings here. So I want this to be pretty square. Okay. So as we scale this up, you'll see that I need to adjust my height. Okay, so this is now square. So I'm gonna hit W, bring this up to about here, which means that this guy needs to move up, All right? I'm gonna go to modify and center pivot. And there you have it. All right, so we got this panel in place. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna push it down make it very thin and then we're going to select face and shift select face we're going to control E to extrude we're going to tweak the offset to about here then we're going to hit R and we're going to very slightly flare that up we're going to hit G to repeat we're going to hit R to scale G to repeat and R to scale again. All 
which will give you something like this. It's kind of hard to see right now, but maybe we'll add a bit more than that. It's a bit... Uh, Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we have that now. Um, we might need to adjust the top height here. So we're gonna go to uh, object mode. Let's go to mesh and uh, combine. Right click vertex, drag select, hit W, and bring that down to about there. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do with this guy. So we're going to go to mesh and separate. Let's go to insert edge loop option box multiple and we'll set it to three and we'll do three. And I need quite a lot of detail here, but you'll understand why in a sec. Come on. There you go. We're going to Q on our keyboard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this view right here. And I kind of like to prefer to work with this upright. So let's just uh, do that. I'm going to flip it up like so. Let's make sure we have a pivot centered. Hit W, move down X. There you go. And then we're going to go in here and I'm going to right click go to vertex and I'm going to start to uh, tweak this. So take one and one and W. Let's bring that down to, I would say, about here. Take one and one. And we will be able to tweak that if necessary, but for now it's uh, looking okay and let's see if we can work from the inside out it's going to be easier to adjust so you kind of figure that I wanted a rounded arch there yeah it's way easier to see it this way And now we're going to start to flare it to the sides. This one needs some adjustment. And then these need to go up like that. All right. So now that we have that, that looks all right. Um, we need to have some decoration in here. But anyway, we need some uh, detailing as well. So what we're gonna do there is we're gonna go in and uh, take another polygon cube. Let's uh, hit R in object mode. Let's have a look here. We're gonna push that in. Should be nice and thin. And it shouldn't be too high either. That's kind of right. And then we're going to bring that in, like so. We're going to go to Insert Edge Loop, which is still at 3. That's not the direction that I want. I want it right there. There we go. We're going to Q on our keyboard. Let's get this into place here. So I'm going to right click at our vertex. Let's uh, bring that in right there. Do the same here. And then we're going to go to object mode and we're going to bring it down. Five shaded mode. And then we're going to go in and we're going to right click at the edge. And I'm going to double click on the middle edge, hit W, and push that. All right. So now that we have that guy, we're going to go in object mode. 
We're going to control D to duplicate, W to move it up, E to rotate, hold down J as you do that. We're going to W, we're going to push that in here. And push it back a little bit. Push it up like so. We're going to right click the vertex, we're going to push that down to right there. And let's just uh, move the whole thing out just a little. Okay. Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J. Flip it around. W to move that over and move it down. And that looks all right. And then we're going to hit Control D once again. Let's hit E to rotate. Hold on J. W to move that up. And we're going to hold on X and we're going to snap it to the center. Let's go to modify and center pivot and then snap it to the center. All right, and then we're going to hit R and we're going to push that in a bit. And we need to keep it a little bit longer because it's going to be bent. And so we're going to go in to um, hinge at edge loop, which should still be at three. And we'll do three, 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 three. Q on the keyboard. We're going to go to object mode, we're going to hit W, we're going to move that up until it's sitting right there. And then we're going to right click and go to vertex. And we're going to drag select all of these vertices, hit W, move that up like so. Skip a row, both ends, like so. Keep on going. So now we have all that detail in, we can put in the center uh, ribs for that. Let's take, um, let's actually take this guy. We can use that. We're going to control D to duplicate. Let's uh, move that over. And what I'm going to do here is hit control D again, hit E to rotate, hold on J and flip it around. And W, bring that up. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm gonna drag select them, mesh and combine. And now we need to do some rotation. So I want to rotate this way. Make sure it's upright, it is. Then I'm gonna rotate it this way. which is all right. And then we're gonna hit R and we're gonna push this whole thing together a little bit. Okay, we're gonna W, we're gonna bring it in. And here, obviously spacing is important. So let's see what we got. Hold on X, bring it in to the center. I want it to have a little bit more thickness. So I'm gonna pull it out in this direction. And I want two of these, so we need to space that out correctly. But first I'm gonna scale it in. And I'll um, hit Control D to duplicate. W to move up to about here. Select them both. And that looks to be about right. And I'm gonna take one of these guys, Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J. And then we're going to hit W to move it up. We're going to right click, go to vertex, drag select, bring it down. And let's see what we got. All 
All right, so now let's see. We need to have a, uh, a nice plate with uh, screws and a doorknob and so forth. So let's start with our plate. We're gonna take a, a polygon cube as before. Hit W, uh, bring that out here. Have to zoom in. Hard to uh, scale up and out somewhat. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move that up. We're gonna right click get a face and we're gonna get rid of these faces. We're gonna get a face here. We're gonna hit the control E to extrude. Tweak the offset to something like this. Looks right. And then we're gonna hit W and we're gonna pull that up a little. Which will give you a plate looking like that. And then we're gonna right click at an edge, double click all the way around. Control E to extrude and W to push down. All right. Now I want these edges to be hardened. So I'm gonna go to edge, I'm gonna drag select and go to harden edge. There you go. Now we're gonna go to object mode. We're gonna push that down. Now that needs to be at the appropriate height, of course. So that needs to go up a little bit to about there and let's make it a bit thinner now we don't want to scale it because if we do that then it will not be proportionate anymore so instead we're going to do this and we're going to bring it in like that all right so now that we have that let's uh, make sure it's sitting in the middle okay and let's create a, a knob for this thing. So what we can do there is we're gonna take a polygon sphere, W to pull up. We're gonna pull this over here for a sec. We're gonna hit R to scale that out and we're gonna hit B for soft select. Maybe you don't even have to. This kind of looks all right. Let's uh, push that down a bit. So that would be that. Let's go to mesh and smooth to make it nice and smooth. We can turn off that soft select. Let's go in here, W to bring that in. I have to zoom in and let's scale the whole thing down a bit. That looks better. It's gonna come down of course. And let's take a polygon cylinder to bring that in. Control A. We don't need any caps. So I said no caps, come on. There you go. We're gonna get a face, so we're gonna delete that one and that one. And then we're gonna jump to this view. We're gonna move that over. Have to zoom in. We're gonna hold on V and snap it. We're gonna hold on R and scale it. And then we're gonna hit W, push it down. And as you can see, that needs to come in quite a bit. So let's do this. W to push down. There you go. And then this guy, let's scale that down a bit too. All right. Now this, it looks like this is black, but there you go, fixed. Right, so now we have that. Let's see what else. Um, hinges, okay, we'll do some hinges on the door. Now, um, for the most part, the hinges that you will see will be uh, cylinders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a polygon cylinder, we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna hit, um, let's hit E to rotate it, hold on J until it's level. We're gonna hit R to scale that out like this. And I'm gonna make a huge hinge first. And once that's done, um, I will go and make it smaller, okay? 
So we have that. Um, uh, let's see, we've got two parts of this and I want to see both. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate. I'm going to hit W to move it over. Hit R to scale it in. And what you want to do here is take this guy and take those edges. Go to add a mesh and bevel. Now I want this for this guy as well. So instead of taking this guy, I'll just take this, duplicate it again. W, move that over. And then hit R and scale that in. So let's uh, bring that in right there. We hit Control D to duplicate. Let's bring it over. Let's zoom in. And then what you're going to want on the ends is basically a semi sphere. So pull that out. I'm going to go to the top. Have to zoom in. Right click face. Drag select and delete. Take this guy, push it in there. Have to zoom in. We're going to move it just a bit. We're going to scale it down. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move up, E to rotate, hold down J and flip it around, W to move down. We have to zoom in. All right, so that's going to be our hinge. Let's drag select that. Go to mesh and combine. We're going to move that up. We're going to R to scale it down. W to move that in. And it needs to scale down a bit more. There you go. And then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate and W to move down. And what we're going to do to make sure we're symmetrical is select them both, go to Mesh and Combine, Modify Center Pivot, hold on X and snap it to the center grid line here. Okay. So if we now drag select the whole thing and go to Mesh and Combine, E to rotate, hold on J. Pull it up, hold on J again, and I'll just go to display and turn off the grid. Here is our door. All right. Well, if you have any questions, let me know as always. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, hit that like button if you had fun, and hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future videos. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.